Hello and welcome to another LEGO Bootleg review. Today we're looking at a bunch of Thanoses. Hmm, plural for Thanos. Could that be Fane? <laughs> so on the left hand side we have three Thanoses Fane, of uh, the Lili brand. We haven't seen them in a while. Uh, D031. And in the middle we have a Deku brand Thanos. 0296 and on the right hand side we have one from XINH this XINH one is from the set X0186 and this figure has number of 815 and you'll see some infinity gauntlets on the right hand side we have the Xing Yuan infinity gauntlet the chrome version SY1099 it also comes with all the infinity gems as well you can see the duplicates just like the lego sets you get a whole ring of them so four infinity gem each by the way to the left is the D027 Lily infinity gauntlet and the upgraded version right next to it the second one is D052 which has a more metallic finish and different colored infinity gems the Deku one comes in a box of course all the other ones come in little baggies and his side look, back look, assembly guide with the uh, sword, and here. Enjoy the fun of inspiration and imagination and copying other people. Hmm. And as always, there's a little flip there that you can close the box back up if you want to. So Deku's Thanos comes with a spare hand, and the Deku Thanos is directly copying the Lego set for the Infinity War. Lego set number 76107 Thanos Ultimate Battle. They even copied the weapon. That is also accurate to what it is in the set, although this piece seems to be a little bit. So yeah, just gonna squeeze that back in there so it doesn't fall off. There's a bit of gold there, a bit of a build, nothing too special. Looks like a giant butter knife, to be honest. Let's just put that to the side. So the reason why this figure comes with spare hand is because he also has the Infinity Gauntlet that's just directly printed on to his arm. And you see they printed four of the gems on top there and this area here which is supposed to be another gem there but I don't know they just put a circle there and a bit of the gauntlet printed on the arm but they didn't print the whole gauntlet they just put bits of gold on there bits of metallic shine but not all the way around the arm so it looks kind of like he's wearing um, some little driver's gloves like tiny little ones you can see the green gem on the side there so yeah all the gems are complete here but um the gold shine doesn't match the metallic coloring of the glove and they didn't print the gauntlet all the way around his arm so that looks a bit weird and if you swap the regular hand back onto here the purple hand it's still gonna have a bit of gold printed on his side so that's weird but aside from that uh his front torso is printed quite nicely and quite accurate to the lego version However, this print here right on the gold edge is slightly off center. It's a bit too low compared to the official Lego. It should be a bit higher. The face is pretty good and the little details on top of the helmet are also pretty good as well. So overall, as a cheap alternative to the Lego figure, this is not bad. There are no prints on the back. But the other plastic is pretty sturdy, pretty solid. Moving on to the XINH1, you can see he's not the LEGO version. Uh, this one is using the mold from the original Thanos that LEGO released on the Superheroes line that's not based on any movies. The set number 76048 Avenged Space Mission, that's one of Captain America, Space Iron Man and uh, I believe Captain Marvel was it? It's using that older mold but the color and design is based on I guess when Thanos first appeared in the MCU. He's got a bit of a sloppy print on the back. Ugh, not sure what's going on there. A bit of gold smudge all over the place. But he's got arm printing there. His gauntlet is once again printed on his hand and the back of his arm. As you see, the design is different to the Deku one. And he comes with a base plate. Now normally you can get this as part of a set, but I didn't bother getting a set because all the other figures were just direct copies of something you would see with the official Lego Infinity War set, so I wasn't too interested. So here he is, I've got him on his own, which is what you can do. And the print on the front seems decent, the face is okay. It's like they mixed a bit, they took the mold of the old figure, mixed a bit of elements from the new one, in the, from the Infinity War version, and as for this design, I'm not sure where this comes from, because it's not copying anything from Lego directly, so it might be copying someone, one of the fans' designs online, I don't know. So he's also got these yellow armor pieces on his arms, uh, they're not really metallic shine or anything, so it's just a sort of a slightly metallic molded plastic look. It looks okay, I suppose, if you just want a new version of Thanos that's different from the official LEGO ones, then he's okay. I got uh, three Lily Thanoses here. Why? Because, you know, I wanted to compare different gauntlets. So that's what I had to do. And uh, you see there's one bad print on this Lily one. Ew. But you see the overall design is the same as the... XINH1, although you can see that they haven't printed this side 
Uh, he's got really shiny metallic boots, gloves, and all the print of where the yellow is on the explanation is now metallic on him. And even the helmet and all that's metallic. Face is printed okay, I suppose. And he's got a little bit of detail on the back, but not as much as the XI and H1Z. The XI and H1 actually has a lot more. They, uh, they, they shrunk the design of what's on the XI and H and just didn't bother printing the body. Whatever the case is, the three Lili figures I have here, one of them has a slightly bad print. Uh, this Thanos has his face slightly to his left, so it's off-centered. And well, it seems at least one of them is okay. This one here is actually printed okay. Tiny bit of a smudge there, but uh, overall this one's actually printed okay. So compared to the XNH one, I would go with this one. If you can see the figure before you buy it so there's not any misprints, this one's actually pretty good. And the metallic shine matches what it is in the movie. So this one's pretty decent. It doesn't have any arm print there, but that's okay, I suppose. So the first Lily gauntlet we have here is just based on sort of slightly metallic plastic. This is very similar to the official Lego one. So you want something that directly copies the body in plastic of the Lego one. Here you go. Unfortunately, the gems are slightly wrong color. There's a, just a flat sort of golden one here, like a flat gold, whereas it should be a transparent orange. And you do get the other ones and they all plug in quite well. They don't fall off anything. So as a gauntlet thing, it's okay. And you unplug it just like the official LEGO one and plug it onto one of the figure's hands and there you go, he's got the gauntlets and all the gems, except one that looks weird. So Lily did supposedly do this upgrade one, which came up a bit later, and it matches the metallic gold of these Thanos figures. And you see that they did give us the correct gem after all. And this one looks way nicer and much more like it should do compared to the movie. So this one's actually better than the official LEGO one. So that's, that's funny. By the way, the print jobs on these little plates are all eh, decent enough, I honestly don't focus on them, so slight smudges is not going to bother me. Finally, we have the chrome one from Xing Yuan, and I'm quite unlucky, as you see there's a huge smudge all over there where the chrome didn't settle correctly. So that sucks, so uh, I'm going to get another one of these eventually, just, just to replace this one. But as you can see here, aside from that, if yours came out perfectly, uh, the gems are much clearer like the color is lighter so you can see through it a bit more you can see here the it's like the saturation it's uh, deeper on the orange on this one you see all of these ones are a bit more transparent than the lady one and if yours did come okay this chrome would have looked really really nice the print job on these plates are better than the lady ones but again i don't really care about them too much but they are nicer if that does matter to you so these gauntlets are all different and are pretty cool KLPF has also released two versions of these big thick Thanoses. One of them looks just like a completely new mold and new design, completely different from what we see the official Lego or these ones right here. And the other one they have seems to be also a direct copy of the official Lego one, depending on what quality control is like, it could be just as good as the Deku one. They also sold in the package where if you get the weird shape one, you can also get the Infinity Gauntlet uh, that's based on the original Lego color as well as four Infinity Gems each. So depending on how well this video is, I'll get some of those KLPF ones and do a review of those as well. So overall, if you want something that's directly the same as the LEGO one, as close as it can get, get the Deku one or supposedly the KLPF one and get one of these Lili gauntlets as the general color. But you will be missing a correct color gem, meaning that you'll probably want to pick up two uh, different Lili ones. If you want something that just looks nice overall, I recommend getting this one because uh, the chrome one, I know a lot of people like chrome, but that one's a bit too much. Uh, this sort of metallic shine, this metallic painted color looks the closest to what it does in the movie. So, you know, get one of these figures and one of these gauntlets and you have a pretty good figure there. Of course, if you do get the chrome ones, I do like the colors of the Infinity Gems there. So all of them have their merits. So depending on what you like, you should be able to choose the correct combination of Thanos and Infinity Gauntlets now. Another thing to notice, a lot of these bootleg brands have also produced minifigure scaled Thanoses with minifigure supposedly scaled Infinity Gauntlets. So I'll get to them eventually. And some of the smaller ones might look a little bit funny, but that's for another video. 
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you already did. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like button if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below on how you feel about this fan house, any other fan house, minifigures or mini mates or whatever, Lego, blah. And as always, you can support this channel by heading over to Patreon or turning the ad block off here on YouTube as well. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.